Welcome back to the End Time Remnant YouTube channel. I am Dorothy, and no, I did not get all fancy on you. I did, um, however, get a mic because as I was listening to some of the playbacks of the other video, the quality of the sound just kind of sounded a little sketchy. I just want to make sure that whether the video is five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, that you're able to hear exactly what I am saying, that um, the voice quality is, is, is clear for you. So that's the mic you see. Um, welcome back. And uh, we're just going to pick up where we left off. Um, I believe this is video number eight of the What Did Jesus Say series. And we are looking at the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 16. And that particular scripture reads, he who hears you, hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. And he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. And as I was going through the New Testament, reading the fine print, reading the red print, reading what Jesus actually said while he was here during his earthly ministry, this particular scripture stuck out to me. And I believe it is particularly um, for this time, the body of Christ needs to understand something very well. Uh, we live in this world, but we are not of this world. And we are about to face persecution like we never have before for those of us who are unwilling to fold, those of us who are unwilling to um, conform you know, to the ways of the world, those of us who are willing to die for our faith and um, be uncomfortable you know, based on what we believe. Those of us who are not willing to follow the masses, um, we will be persecuted. But this particular scripture is a reminder that rejection is all part of the journey. Okay, people rejecting you, people misunderstanding you, um, people judging you, you know, based on what you believe and, you know, how serious you are about your walk with Christ. Um, that's all part of the journey. Uh, it's important for us as believers and as the body of Christ to understand that these people are not rejecting us. It's not about us. It's not personal, right? The enemy wants us to take it personally. He wants us to be offended. He wants us to feel like these people are specifically zeroing in on us and it's a personal thing, but it's not, right? The idea is to get you in your feelings so that you can then respond in your flesh, but this scripture is a reminder that they are not rejecting you, right? The evil spirits governing those who are lost are not rejecting you. They are rejecting Christ and they are in turn rejecting who sent Christ, which is the father. This scripture is important for us to really get on our minds and on our hearts and just really etch on our souls. The rejection and the persecution that many of us are about to face is not personal. It's not personal. From the very beginning, when you made a decision to come into the body of Christ and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, there was a target put on your back, right? The enemy is not pleased. And he will use any available vessel to persecute you, to reject you. Um, there have been countless times when I have had to literally stop, breathe, and just remember the word and God's truth, right? When people reject what I am sharing regarding the gospel of Christ, they aren't rejecting me. They are rejecting Christ and they are rejecting the father. They are rejecting the truth. And sometimes when you're really passionate about the word of God, you're really passionate about Christ, you're really passionate about your walk with him, um, it's easy to get offended. It's easy to take things personal when people say certain things or do certain things to persecute you or shun you or try to shame you or reject you. It's easy to take it personally. But this video is just a, a loving reminder to those who are in the body of Christ that, that we live in this world, but we are not of it. We are not citizens of the world. Uh, our, our citizenship is kingdom. And all we really are are vessels to share God's love, to share God's light, to share God's truth. Um, and we will be hated and we will be rejected because of that. 
we have to walk in wisdom here during these very critical end times. Okay, supporting scripture can be found in Matthew 10, 16. And here Jesus is warning us that he's sending us out as sheep amongst wolves. We are encouraged to be as wise as serpents and as gentle as doves. And the wisdom comes from knowing the lost are filled with a darkness and any light that we shed may not be well received at first. The gentleness comes in as we respond to these people, right? So Jesus is saying, you know, be wise, be wise as serpents, recognizing that I am sending you out as sheep among wolves. You do not look like them. You do not sound like them. You do not move like them and they will reject you. They will not be pleased to see you. However, uh, be gentle and share my love and share my truth in love. So that's what we're called to do. Um, and sometimes we're all human, we're all wrapped in flesh. And sometimes when you are rejected, when all you're really trying to do is share the truth of the word of God, sometimes your flesh wants to rise up and really tell people where they can go. You know, let's, let's not fake it right now. Um, let's not pretend. Um, even if you're in Christ, sometimes it hurts to be rejected and sometimes it hurts to be labeled. And sometimes you want to respond in your flesh. But this particular scripture, Luke 10, 16, is a reminder that they're not rejecting you. So don't take it personally. They are rejecting Christ and they are rejecting the Father. And their choice to reject Christ and the Father is on them. It's not on you. It's easy to get in our feelings and react in our flesh. However, anytime we defend the gospel in any other way but love, we are out of order. Okay, it's, it's really just that simple. It's not personal. You know, when they don't want to hear what you have to say about the truth of the word, it's okay. It's not personal. It's not about you. So um, that's really all I wanted to share with you regarding this particular scripture. It definitely stuck out because I feel like the body of Christ is in this right now. And we really need to know what the word says about the persecution and the rejection many of us are currently facing and are going to be facing in weeks and months and years to come uh, because we choose Christ. So um, prayerfully, this video has helped you in some way. Um, God willing, I will see you next time. Be blessed.